Hey you guys, welcome to Kamonica's channel. This video, I'm going to show you guys how to boot from a CD. This is Windows 8 and from reading blogs and watching videos, I found, and with my own experience, I found that this is very difficult to do. Um, some of the reasons you might want to boot from a CD, you might want to reinstall Windows, um, reinstall a different Windows, or if you work from home, you might need to boot from a CD, a secure network. So, um, basically, I'm going to show you guys how I do it on this HP Pavilion. I'll put the model number below in the description box. And um, just a little bit of info. I did purchase the Dell. I think it's like the Dell 2020. I could not get it to boot from a CD. And I also purchased an Asus computer. I couldn't get it to boot from a CD either. I don't know if those were just bad computers. But I know that that Dell 2020, it booted from the CD. But I couldn't access the internet. So, I don't know, it might have just been that computer, but the Asus, it wouldn't do anything at all. So, basically, after reading blogs, talking to several computer um, techs over the phone, and watching videos, I finally figured it out myself by just putting all of that information together. So, on this computer, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and hopefully it helps. So basically the CD is already in the computer and I'm going to power the computer on. While it's powering on, I'm going to start pushing F10. Once I push F10, um, the setup utility is going to pop up. Now I'm going to go over to my security. Under security, I'm going to go down to secure boot configuration and push enter that's just giving you a warning things like that telling you what's going to happen you want to go ahead and push f10 to accept your options are right there f10 to accept you want to go down to your secure boot and you want to disable the secure boot and you want to go back up to the legacy support and you want to enable it. And you do that by pushing your arrow buttons. Okay, you want to push once you disable the secure and enable the legacy, you want to go ahead and push F10 to accept it. Then you want to go back over to your storage. Under storage, you have a boot order. You want to click enter. And you want to go ahead and disable the first option there, which is UEFI boot source. You want to push F5. Again, your options are there. You want to push F5 to disable it. And then you want to go down right under your legacy boot source. You'll see the ATAPI CD DVD drive. You want to push enter. Because that's the way you want to um, boot it up. Now, you also have the um, USB floppy CD and the hard drive. I haven't tried those. If you're trying the USB, trying the USB, I'm assuming you can just do, you know, those. So anyway, um, now that I have that option chosen, I'm gonna go ahead and push F10 to accept. I'm going to go back over to file and I'm going to go down to save, changes, and exit. Do I want to save? Yes, push enter again. So I push enter twice. My computer is going gonna, gonna to start rebooting. And then this one normally asks me to put in, okay, yeah, so in that, it asks me, if I made, basically this is saying if I did in fact um, make that change, I need to put in this code and it gives you the code right there to put it in. So you want to go ahead and type 57, I'm sorry, 97, dang, 9570. You do not want to use your side keys on your keyboard because those are disabled. Um, so just use your top keys and put in your number and push enter. 
and it's going to take a little bit. It might even give you a couple of um, error messages, um, things like that, but it goes through perfectly fine for me. Um, it's going to go ahead and boot up and all that great stuff. So we're going to stop it here. Now, like I said, it gives me a couple of errors. I will show you guys. You're going to see some error messages. It's going to say no um, disk no such this cd rom fail all that that's perfectly perfectly fine if i wasn't patient and i just saw that and just like ah, then i would have turned the computer off but um it is booting okay so i'm gonna go ahead and let that finish doing what it do and i'm going to turn the computer off and i'm going to just show you guys how to basically reverse all that so that it boots back up to your windows when you're done, this doesn't necessarily, I don't think this would be um, the case with everybody. I know some programs are reboot the system themselves, whatever you may be doing. But anyway, if you have to reboot the computer yourself, you want to go ahead and power it down. And to get back up to Windows, you want to power, push the power button, power it back on as soon as it starts to reboot you want to push F10 once again and all you do is go over to file and you click apply all apply defaults and exit so click on apply defaults and exit push enter and then push enter again and then the computer will turn off and then it will boot up regularly and it will boot up to Windows 8 so that's how you will boot from a CD in Windows 8 in this HP Pavilion 20 all-in-one PC. So I hope this video was beneficial for you guys. Thanks so very much for coming to Kamanaka's channel. See you soon. Bye.